it, it's interesting to reflect on what we're trying to do. And we're changing a very simple test. In other words, standard transrectal biopsy, which could be done by almost anybody, anytime, any place, in that no special equipment was required. And it, and it used to take 10 minutes with a very complex, multi-phased series of tests uh, that involve new and different skills. So I don't underestimate the ask that we're making on our colleagues. And we're turning something that was owned by the urologist into a multidisciplinary task. I think the journey is worthwhile uh, because I think, I think today we should consider a prostate biopsy the same that we would consider a brain biopsy. It's the most important moment in the, in the man's journey if he has prostate cancer. It's the thing that defines the presence or absence of disease and risk stratifies him with precision. And what it involves is a high quality MRI and then a targeted biopsy of the lesion if the man has a lesion. And that requires new skills that currently aren't widely available. So on face value, you'd think that that would be very expensive and not worthwhile. Uh, we've just published a paper in European Urology, uh, which is a health economic analysis uh, of the PROMISE study. And it has very reasonable assumptions. All health economic analyses have assumptions. Uh, but that, was sh that showed quite emphatically that MRI was cost effective. Um, not because it costs less, it costs a lot more to do but because it misses fewer clinically significant cancers and most importantly reduces the rate of identifying clinic, uh, clinically insignificant cancers that would have been detected in the old system.